Hi, students out there across the country on campuses. I'm so excited to be here today with Jeremy Benamy, the executive director of J Street, and he's going to tell us a little bit about what they're doing here in Washington and what our role is in all of this. So, Jeremy, why don't you start by telling us a bit about J Street and what's it's done, what it's done in about the last year? Thanks, Tammy. Yeah, we started uh, J Street a year ago to provide a voice in American politics and in the American Jewish community for. Jews who believe in peace, for Jews and their friends and other supporters of Israel who support diplomacy, who want engagement with Iran, who want to see a two-state solution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, and who really feel strongly that for far too long the loudest voices in our community haven't spoken for us. They haven't reflected who we are as a people our traditions, our values, and J Street is the megaphone for this voice and a gathering spot for people who share these values and want peace in the Middle East. That is so important, and I think all of you know how important that is as well. Um, I know that there is the J Street inaugural co conference coming up next October, and I want to know how that plays into this strategy of being this voice. I think what is missing in Washington, D.C. I worked in Washington for 25 years now, and I was at the White House under Bill Clinton. I was a senior advisor to him, and I've, I worked on Howard Dean's campaign and was his national policy director. And, and I've seen that Washington political insiders don't understand that there is this voice in the American Jewish community. In fact, our polling, which I hope people will take a look at, shows that a majority of American Jews are opposed to settlements, support a state for the Palestinians, support humanitarian aid for Gaza. We, we understand that that's where the community is at when we are outside of Washington. But inside Washington, all they ever really hear from is the institutional voices that represent a far further right point of view. So our conference in October is an essential element of the strategy to help people in Washington to hear that voice. If we can get hundreds and a thousand people and, and more in Washington for a couple of days talking about these issues in a progressive, pro-Israel, pro-peace way, it will be a sea change in Washington, D.C. They have never heard a thousand people come to Washington with this point of view and then go up to Capitol Hill, be involved in the discussion up there, and make our voices heard. So the, the conference in October is a, is a linchpin to the entire J, J Street strategy. Now, who are you hoping to get at this conference? You're talking about hundreds, thousands of people. Who are these people? Who do you want to see in that room? And who does Washington want to hear from? Real people. Uh, you know, in, the, in uh, the most effective way to make your voice heard in Washington is to, to come from out of Washington mm -hmm. and represent real people. And I think it is particularly important for not only the politicians, but for the Jewish community to see young people. I, I can't tell you how much the 60-year-olds and the 40-year-olds are concerned about what's happening with the 20-year-olds and, and are worried that we are not engaging young people around Israel in a progressive, positive way that allows them to have a voice that is consistent with the values that they grew up with. And that is going to be an essential component of the conference, to, to show that there are young people, there are parents, there are grandparents, and we're all over the map demographically in this community and all over the map geographically in terms of the country uh, expressing this, this point of view. Now, I know a lot of our students on campuses that we're speaking to today have either groups or allies who come from outside the Jewish community. What would their role be at this conference? Well, I think one of the most important things that, that J Street is doing is saying this is an American interest. And, and the organization of J Street is primarily, but not exclusively Jewish. It's really important that this is an issue that engages so many more people than just Jews. But for a long time, it's been really the Jewish community that has dominated the discussion in Washington. So for us, 
it's very important to start building within the Jewish community, but to quickly reach out beyond. Uh, mm -hmm. I hope that we'll have sessions at the conference specifically on how this issue has come to stand in the way of important interfaith and intergroup dialogue on, on common sets of interests. Mm -hmm. And those range from domestic concerns like civil rights and, and combating Islamophobia uh, to external events like uh, and external issues like the potential for a conflict with Iran, mm -hmm. the, the war that happened in Iraq. All of these are American interests and they go beyond the Jewish community, but they often come back to Israel policy. And if you're going to deal with Israel policy, you need to start with a Jewish core to the discussion. Mm. Now, I think on what you were just talking about, students have a huge role to play in showing the rest of the community what kinds of allies are making. But I want to know from you what else you see uh, the student role being. We know Washington is a place where this conversation is happening and needs to change. But we also know, and I know all of you know, that campus is a battleground for these issues. Right. And so I want to know from you what you see the student role is in, in this whole bigger picture. Well, I think it's really interesting that there's actually the inverse problem in Washington and on campuses. In Washington, you really only hear one voice. And what we're trying to do in the Washington context is open up the debate so that other voices are heard. What I understand, and I'm interested to hear more from, from students and from you and to learn more at the conference, but as I understand it, there are actually very strong polarized voices on campus. And so it's not that there's only one voice, it's that there's two poles that are heard very strongly with very set opinions. And people who are looking for a progressive middle, who are looking for ways to be pro-Israel and pro-Palestinian at the same time, who are looking for win-win solutions and not simply black and white answers, that that's what's missing on campus. And J Street's take on the issues and its view of the world is one that is nuanced and is one that says, you know, there's a little bit of truth on both sides and that actually if we're going to make progress, it's going to involve compromises. And, and you've got to be able to see that you can't just win or lose. You need to both be able to win. And so I think on campus, that's the kind of dialogue and space we hope we can help to create and having people come to the conference, get some of those tools, bring them back and not necessarily open up the debate, but add a, add a middle ground, uh, mm -hmm. perhaps, to the debate. I think that's the most valuable role. I, I hope that that's what you sense as well. I definitely think so. And we also know that you on campus, I know, we are the future. And this is about our future. So we have to show the community, both Jewish, outside the Jewish community, in Washington, what the future really wants. We want the future to look like. So the J Street Inaugural Conference is next October 25th through 20. Eighth, the student part, which we are all responsible for putting on together, is 20, the 24th through the 27th. So we both look forward to seeing all of you there, and we will answer all of your questions that you might have about J Street, about the way we're going to change things, and about the conference. Uh, and we look forward to that. Yeah, thanks so much, Amy. I really look forward to meeting uh, the students. I look forward to all of our work on, on campus together. And thank you all very much for, for being involved in this. Well, thank you, Jeremy, for speaking with all us right. today.